Now you guys are gonna get me excited and I'm gonna to wanna to finish this whole thing in one day, Carlo. Let's go, baby. We're back at White Oak Manor working on the reception hall. Now, the last time you saw us here, we were flying in these massive oak beams with a crane. Today, we're gonna to be concentrating on the outer portion of the building, which is gonna be our lean-to frame and create that barn look that the builder's going for. So let's get started and make it happen, Captain. Now these walls are massive two by sixes, which really would make it almost impossible to square this up. There is no wood floor under here. So we're having to stick build these walls, set them onto the concrete block, and then level it off and attach the plywood. So it's a little bit harder than your normal or your typical framing, if you will. So we'll stand them up, bolt them down, and we'll have to put some temporary braces. And as you can see, after we've leveled and put a brace on the inside of the wall, Pedro can come down and nail all that half inch plywood from one end to the other. There are gonna be a lot of sheets of plywood on this building and we're just barely getting started. All right, the main thing we're trying to get accomplished here is if we frame this entire back wall, get it squared up and streamlined so it's perfectly straight, we will be able to, from that point, attach our rafters to this lower beam on this upper center section. So we're gonna have to check and make sure that they're level inside and out and this way as well. Streamlining those with a, a really rustic lumber that has its bows and crooks with it is going to pre present some challenges. So we start off with a good level and straight base over here. We'll be able to brace that off, hopefully make sure that everything is in line that way so that when we do install our rafters from this wall to that center beam, that we're hopefully dead on the money straight. We have some massive four inch by 12 inch rafters. All right, so we were going to do this in two pieces, but he smartly did not nail the center part. So we're going to have that overlapping plate attached to this portion of the wall, but not to that one. So we'll be able to lift this up, set it up, brace it off and support it, and then add that second section there, which I think is a lot smarter. Work smarter, not harder. And that's what you got to do if you want to get through a whole day and a whole week of this hard physical labor. All right, let's go. Set it up on there. Be real careful. Hold it good. There you go. Hold on. Un poquito más, una pulgada más. Ho, ho, right there. Hermosa, hermosa. We get it straight up. There you go. Good job, guys. That was gorgeous. Now, I think we need to knock this up a little bit, Pedro. Knock it up a little bit so we don't have to fight to get that other piece of the wall in there. But that was a good idea. Look at that, man. Just a couple hours, we almost got this whole wall done already. Now you guys are going to get me excited. And I'm gonna to wanna to finish this whole thing in one day, Carlo. Let's go, baby. Oh, my God. 
Fall un poquito, fall un poquito más. Man, we're moving, we're moving pretty good. What time is it? 11.19, we might finish this wall before lunch. We cut these rafters, we got one shot. One shot to make all the rafters work really well. Uh, there is no ordering more. These are custom made, custom cut, shipped in from way far away. So we have to make sure that these things are cut right the very first time. So that's what we're gonna have to do. Yeah, you can fry this thing up. That's a really good onion. <laughs> It's a spring onion, you know? I wouldn't eat it right now because you gotta clean it and everything, but. But you can look for these tails. You can even chew on it right here a little bit. Empujarme la paca. We're so close to a thousand subscribers, guys, and we appreciate everything you've done. But if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can get the rest of the way. Now, before we get started on re-leveling these oak beams, we're gonna have to remove these temporary braces that were holding it just for the process of lifting them up with the crane. We're gonna have to make sure that these big beams are leveled this way and this way. We're gonna remove these braces and install new ones from end to end to make sure that these big oak beams are perfectly level. From that point, we should be able to move on to get our rafter measurements and get this roof wrapped up for the day. What we're gonna do here is the main beam up there is kind of racked a little bit out of level, but it's not that easy to move these big beams, so we're probably gonna have to create some levers and pull, and pull this thing over to make sure. We're only off about 3 8 of an inch which is not terrible being that we pick these all up with one crane and they, they may have racked a little bit. Well, actually they never were level. Um, we just squared them up as best we could until they were up in the air. But now we'll be able to make them exactly right. Oh, I mean, I cannot believe we could move those beams like that, bro. Huh? For being 18 in feet in the air, moving them with the crane, picking all that up to be three eighths out of level, brother. I am happy with that. Yeah, that ain't, bad. ain't bad at all. drill these three holes so they're already pre-drilled and I think my shorts are falling down. That thing is perfectly level dude. I must have did a good job the other day with that four footer. Made the PA siete and a quarter. We never did find the bit did we? We never did find the bit did we bud? Okay, it's fine. We don't need it. We're good. So now Alex is getting ready to man the crane. We're going to try to lift this beam up and see if we cut it to the right length and if we can slide it into these notches that we had made a couple weeks ago. It's been sitting there for a while, but we do have it braced off, but let's hope it goes smooth. Yes. All right, we're coming on up. Extend on out. Get me tight to the beam and then we'll go up. That'll be the safest way to go.
Julian tratar de meterte. Cuando se puede. Watch it tuesday siempre, okay? Here, lower down a little bit. Lower down just a little bit. Hold on, no lo mueves. Deja el que se trabaja. No puede ser que estamos bien. Right there. Clavos, clavos rápido. All right, all right, right there. Mazo. She fit, baby. I think a little tighter than we wanted it to be, but she's in. All right, so that beam was not tied in the most, in the best places possible. It was kind of a little bit off-centered. And not only that, it was kind of catty-cornered to one side. So being that that notch was so tight and so perfect, we had to kind of rock it and send it in. After a little bit of struggles, we're in there nice and tight. Perfect. That is perfect. Julie. Okay. There's a little crook in, in the in the board there, and because it's a little bit wider at the top than the bottom, it's not letting our 16 degree angle hit perfectly against the beam. And when you work with a low pitch, like a 312 or a 412, if you're one eighth off, that can really change your dimension overall. So you want that to be perfect. But when you're working with rough cut timbers and everything, it's, it's just painstakingly slow. Hey, this ain't gonna be no small building, buddy. I think you know what happened? We, blade, we blew through that wall and we thought we were just gonna blow through everything else too. It ain't, it ain't gonna be like that, I don't think. <laughs> All right, let's go up slow this time. We might have to work it back to the right, obviously. All right, slow down, slow down. Hey, Carlos, watch your cabeza. All right, push it that way. All right, let's nail it off good, screw it off good, support everything good. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for today. We're losing light. We're gonna wrap it up, brace it off, and call it a great day. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, y'all have a great day. Watch this. Oh, damn, I missed. I got I gotta practice a little bit on that. <laughs>